careful. Definitely, I don't think either of them predicted these lanes. Although, the 2-1-2 two two in situations with unpredicted lanes honestly seems a little more versatile to me. Just, you know, rotating the supports around to either make another duo lane or to finish a tri-lane if need be. And none of the cores really suffer. It's, it's kind of just the supports that are forced to roam. And supports are used to getting nothing, right? I would say so. As us, uh, so, well, XH is going to find everybody. There's the Fire Blast into the Light Strike Array. He's getting very, very low. Mana burned away. ZYF taking some damage, but not too much. And the Drunken Brawler, one point in it. He will dodge that stun. Doesn't have enough mana, though, because of Anti Mage's mana break to do anything else. And another Fire Blast. That's the first blood to ZYF. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm here. Like, if Anti Mage and Pirate Captain are gonna take care of the casting, I feel like I could just go to sleep. Uh, but they don't. They don't do enough in between the action. We've got Inflame up top now. Nine and uh, that's the wrong hero. Seven and one on the last hit. Seven and zero oh on the Void. So this Void's getting a lot. Lich already up to level two. Got that sacrifice. Trying to maintain 100% uptime. And we'll find a Bounty Rune as well. Looking middle, it's Morphling at 12 and five. The most farmed on the map right now. Not by much. And Lin there, his opponent on the Bat Rider. Eight and zero. Looking bottom. It's. 11 and 3, and the first blood recipient, the anti mage, looking for another one. Ogre will get that one, it looks like, with some uh, trailing ignite damage. So, LV here. Two kills ahead early. Two kills in two minutes. Can they get another one and make it three for three with eight seconds remaining? It doesn't look too likely. We already saw how hard XH was to kill. And what's it going to be? Three minutes. Courier upgrading watch. Boom, they got it immediately. LV Gaming with the edge, with the focus right now, upgrading those couriers. I don't know how much that really matters, but something to note. Sometimes when you're feeling good, you're really paying attention to that clock. They upgrade them immediately. I mean, we see that. Uh, actually, do they have the gold? Yeah, Skyrath's got it. It's being greedy. And they will find the kill there on Razor. That's a pretty big one, actually. This duo lane, just the time locks, and of course the Frost Blasts, which are actually really, really hard to sustain against. Um... Razor will be brought down. That's the first kill. Sea deck now on the board. Maybe still farming up a storm right now in this middle lane. 21 and 9, and it's not an easy gank either. There are a couple stuns, but that doesn't stop Morphling from his namesake ability of Morph. Uh, they need the silence for that, of which right now they, they don't have any, and, well, honestly, won't have any. None of their heroes really go for Orchid. Uh, none of them really go for Sheep either. I guess Razor in the ultra late game. Uh, anti Mage will have an Abyssal eventually if we get to that point. My sleep schedule hopes we don't, but personally, I don't really mind either way. Should be a great series. Dyer's Middle Tower is under attack. Courier. It's upgraded. The Pudgling has wings, he's happy. I've been drinking Red Bull. Looks like the Pudgling has drank some Red Bull. He's got wings. Excuse. I guess that's a pun. I don't know what that is. A marketing pun? Who knows? Uh, in Flame, 13 and 4. CS suffering a little bit as this lane is seeing a lot of action, a lot of back and forth. Uh, heroes trading off some damage. Void equal on the farm there. Oh, the back crack. We've been sitting for a while. Sorry for those of you that don't like the cracking of bones. I know it's a disturbing sound to some. Maybe middle lane, 27 and 9. Anti-Mage hot on his heels in the CS, and they're looking to gank him up here. They have smoked. And remember, they got the Fire Blast, but two points in Morph. He's not going to be an easy kill. And there's actually no Lasso right now. They're going to go for it. Three stacks of Napalm. I think they've got it. He's late. Doesn't start morphing before the stun. Doesn't see it in time. Can't start morphing while you're stunned. You can just start before and continue. No, what am I saying? You can morph while you're stunned. So, yeah, I don't know. He was just really slow to react to that. Uh, and will be brought down. So, LV. Get in the game they want right now. Their mech might be a little bit delayed because of what Inflame is seeing up here. Uh, in his safe lane. It's, well, it's not that safe. And that's a big kill on the Morphling. Still farming a lot. Net worth, not so important at six minutes, but you can see that kill puts him a little bit behind the Anti-Mage. Anti-Mage at about 2.7, maybe at about 2.4, 2.5. And he will find one of the runes. Does have a bottle. It's going to be DDC to pick up the bounty and looking to reward right now as we're at about that time. 
Wards last for seven minutes nowadays, but he's got them already stocked up, ready to put him down. Maybe protecting uh, this side of the map, or might just be going for high cliff. I don't know. We'll have to see what he wants to do. Could maybe also expect some rotations to put down a lane ward. That well, he's rotating top. Got the boots. It's probably what he's gonna do. What's up, trolls? I'm very curious now. Attack. Yeah, okay, that's what I'll do. Basically the same thing, and we can look at the vision that that provides. Well, Razor's in the vicinity, but it basically goes like that. Oh, they'll get him from the high ground! The stun is there! He's taking a lot of damage, 126, but the Chrono comes out. 333's got, well, nothing to give to this, but maybe we'll TP up and get the kill. 333 gonna continue to give chase. There's the Frost Blast to slow him down. No damage, but can still find the time locks. No mana either, so won't be able to time walk. Can't lock it and walk it. Arcane Bolt. Actual spell. Does a lot of damage. Can't disjoin it. There's the time walk. Who's got mana boots? How do you get the mana? Your time above ground is over. Alright, let's put in it better than any of us ever could. Lena Falls. Ice greater than fire for now. We'll see what happens once the Laguna Blade is up, but LV lose two right there, and LGD and even up the scoreboard. It's early for grass, but LV slightly ahead in gold, and LGD very, very slightly ahead in experience for the time being, as they're going to look for the Brewmaster again. Barely that last Ray hits! This Lena mana, I swear, and there you see the limitations of level 1 mana void on a hero that doesn't have a lot of mana. Kind of worthless, but they're going to go and look for him here. Dragon Slave is going to miss just slightly. ZYF's trying to do this, but he doesn't get a lot of damage if there's no mana to break. He goes back in, blinking forward. Kid can't get out for another 10 seconds at least on the backside of this. Well, Lich is going to find it again getting the kill on the Lena, but Ogre will bring him down. A bit of revenge. X8's, XH also going to fall, and now there's a Fire Blast onto Garter. Also no mana, but there was a little bit there. ZYF draining it. It has enough for the blink. One second. Should find the kill, unless maybe he can get him first. Yeah, ZYF gets it. He might still go down here. He's going to try to tango up as he gets into the tree line. Blink in one second. Waveform in one. ZYF going to be all right. Maybe he's even going to be stunned up there. And it's a really good fight for LV. They will back off basically unscathed. The Lena falls, but LGDC deck lose three. Back-to-back -back deaths for the Lena. Personally, DDC, probably not too happy, but overall the team. Morale, probably pretty solid right now for LV. Oh, those golems, man. Impervious to the damages. That right or not, at the time there. He's got the Blink Dagger already, though. Just a little over nine minutes. Buys the Blink Dagger, buys the smoke, and where's he going? Back to his own base. There it is. Lin with the Blink. Big item. One kill. 42 CS. Looking for some more in both of those categories. In flame up top. Ancient Seal. The Razor. There's quite a few heroes up here. It's a party. Three heroes for LGDC deck show up first. It's only Lena to the rescue, and... Once again, it won't be enough. At least this time she will survive. We see another pickoff there on the Razor. That's in flames. Third death. He's on a dying spree. Standard. Uh, whoa, ZYF in some trouble here. Actually, it might be maybe now in the trouble. No mana to morph back. Just to bottle up a Bat Rider will find the kill. Doesn't even have to use the smoke, but, well, shown on the map for a while, so I would expect someone to have clicked on him and pinged out the fact that the Blink Dagger is there. Well, oh, and he already used the last one, Blink, so yeah, I would assume they're gonna know. Unless LGDC deck are, are just not talking to each other right now. It wouldn't appear as such. So far, good rotations up to assist the Void. Up to level 8 right now. One of the highest in the game, along with Morphling, Bat, and Anti-Mage. Actually, the only one really suffering right now is Lena and In Flames Razor, who will die again. Gosh dang it! Too many kills! Up top! Lena's gonna go down as well. Lich will bring him out. Ice! Legitimately better than Fire this game. He's 4 1 and 2. Lena, 0 3 and 5. She's had some really solid Light Striker raise, though. Like, that is not a guaranteed spell. It's a half second cast away. That's a lot more than, say, a Split Earth, which is like 0.3 or 0.25 or something. And now maybe he's in some trouble. No, there is actually multicast potential, so. 60% chance to not multicast. And that's where he finds himself. Yeah, we're at 11 minutes. We'll flip over to net worth. It is the Anti-Mage ZYF at 5k. 
guy's used to leaving the net worth charts. I think it's a pretty big anomaly when he's not, and there's another lasso out. We'll start the morph during that, but here comes the Razor Static Link. No replicate up, he'll try to maybe get to one. Doesn't have the mana or the skill, actually, so level 8, yeah, trying to go 404, the standard build there, but no replicate. And that's the situation where it can actually save you. Trying to get off the chrono. I think we've got a lag issue here, because that is a pause. Faceless Void seems to be doing nothing, and I think this is going to be a kill given up here. Yeah, they're not going to let him. No, he will get the chrono off! The ball never lies, but he will die to the ignite, so yeah, ball never lies. It wasn't lag. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, it was probably lag, it looked like it. In Flame, though, here to try to pick up some more kills. We'll find another one there. No, anti Mage is actually going to take it away from him, so In Flame. Oh, he does get on the board. The 1, 4, and 2. Batrider barely lives with about 21. Same story here with the Sky Wrath. 12 minutes in, Team Fight recap that one for me, as we did have that pause. LGDC deck once again lose 3. LV only sacrificing the ogre for the greater good at 12 minutes, the runes, they will be that of LV. Oh my gosh, guys, the hunger is real right now. It's, it's also a little bit for Dota, but mainly just for actual food. Anyways, 3-3-3, three, three, three. use that Chrono to escape, doesn't have it in the bottom lane. Demons, I mean, 8 armor, 1000 HP in total, not an easy kill, so they switch to DDC. He's, he's already died 3 times, so that's 4, not too hard. They will find Demons now. Support's gonna get off. Oh, it's a big multicast! It's not gonna be enough, though, he will be brought down. Broodmaster finds it, and... That's even, but quickly gonna go uneven up top. Well, maybe not. Maybe he's here, he's trying to morph over to Strength, but quickly running out of stats to use. Anti-Mage gonna get involved now. Oh, the Replicate, he'll take it out. And he will live. He doesn't go too far away, though. He's still very much in enemy territory. He's got a TP. He could try for it now. There's no Flame Break. He will get out. Alright, nice place. Creating some space for his team. For the Void to get that farm up. Aquila, Treads, trying to get to the Mask of Madness. What's on the Courier here? Nothing, so he's a bit behind. Lich, doing good, though. Tranquil's Earn of Shadows right now. At just 13 and a half minutes. <laughs> Sorry, the, the sniffling is going through. It's been a long night, guys. If you're just joining now, I'm a little beyond. I'm a little beyond the senses to keep faithful to the old BTS acronym. We've got a uh, Blink Dagger working on the Force Staff, Lino Buy Up, another TP, still holding on to a Smoke. Don't know if he used that other one or not. My ears are popping like crazy, Double this makes damage. casting pretty difficult. <laughs> Alright, maybe you can pick up a rune, it's, it's just a bounty, so, I mean... It's actually better, I, I really just thought about this, I don't know if the bounty rune scales up until time it's used or until time it's picked up but it's actually better to leave it in the bottle as long as possible granted the effects are probably so minimal in the grand scheme of things but technically it seems like it would be more efficient to let it run out assuming you don't eat the bottle obviously that would be better but you know full hp full mana let the bounty run out and get like 10 more gold and 8 more experience from it the efficiency. Somewhere, someone is very happy about that realization. And, uh, well, pre-15 minute Battle Fury and Tread, so we know ZYF is doing fantastic. Still out in front on the net worth, just under 7k. 5.2 for the Morph, who is probably gonna look for the Perseverance next. Lich finds another kill on the bottom lane, this time it's on the Bat Rider, and a Primal Split's gonna be used. And whew, can't watch the mini map and do everything. Chrono up top, team fight recap on top of it as well. We're layering up everything we can here. The primal split use, kill onto the bat. They'll find the anti mage up top there for an XP change of 1200 gold of about a thousand is the difference. Blink Dagger is there for Brewmaster, and to save the voice and the energy, we'll just. Pop up with the item graph. Note the urn Radiant on one team and not there on another head. team. I would like to see an urn on DDC. Or demons. Actually, demons, because he's the strength hero. Dire's 
Empire's middle tower is Treads. under attack. Sky, trying to tank it out. Radiant's Not going for the, uh, the standard mana attack. boots, and there's a reason for that. Increases your mana pool, so if you are out of mana, well, that mana void with its increased AoE, it's like this Radiant's big these days. The target is there. Uh, so you really gotta watch out for that. That could be a huge source of AoE damage. So trying to mitigate that a little bit. Uh, we'll keep it on the power treads of intelligence for now, but if he's going to go down to the mana void, he'll, you'll probably see him toggle it back to strength. That's the only reason I could think of to go treads. I guess it tanks you up a little bit, but I don't know, Radiant's man. Pretty much mana boots for life. All right, LGC deck with the wrap round. Leading by two kills right now, but they still got to be worried about this antimage. The silence goes out the ancient seal Skyrath. Obviously a hero that is well suited to deal with the anti-mage. They bring him down. That Chief Frost is still a bouncing. Demon's uh, running the wrong way there, guy. I'm sure he knows. Just trying to be a bit of a diversion. Let the rest of his team escape. So LV gonna lose two. LGD C deck with the two pickoffs. I'm too tired. I can't even remember who I personally favored this game. Uh, I think it was LGD C deck. Yeah, I think uh, Dota 2 lounge. Had them at like 58%, so it seems pretty reasonable. I don't know, not a game, I don't bet on games like Cast, so don't worry. Uh, but as an observer, actually I don't bet on Dota games at all. But uh, as an observer, I would not have bet on this game. Really too close to call. It's going to be a slugfest, and again, unfortunately for my, my appetite for both food and sleep right now, it's probably going to go 2-1. Looks like they're... Are they gathering for smoke? Yeah, there it is. Sentry down, so they know they're in the clear there. They'll smoke up with three. They got the Primal Split and the Chronosphere available. Dire don't have any vision, but they'll leave the ward... Or the rune, excuse me, just in case they can get it on the way out. And they will find the support and the off... Oh, the mid laner, actually, the bat rider there. DDC in trouble! Face this void will time walk forward and get the kill. Has not been forced to Chrono, so LV gotta respect the potential team fight. I would say the primal split was a maybe a bit too ambitious, but it's a paranoid panda, right? I mean, you never know what's gonna happen. You wanna get out the primal split. Paranoid primal splitting pandas. In flame and some trouble. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Gonna be hard pressed to get that kill. He can rely on the magic damage and just kidding. Skyrath will join him up there in the top lane. Layer on the Mystic Flare. Lin, maybe a bit flustered right now. Or just confused by the hard illusion. The replicate now rank two for maybe. It gets lassoed up and brought down, but obviously that just wastes an ability and wastes some time for LV, so maybe creating space and finding farm at the same time. Can you ask for more? In your carry slash mid lane position, I don't know. Maybe he's got it all. <laughs> People saying morph feeding. Yeah, two and three. He was in the mid lane though, so there were obviously a lot of rotations towards him. And the landing phase was kind of weird. Supports were just all over the place. Lich, though, all over the place and in the right places at the right time. 6, 2, and 7. This guy's been involved in a lot of kills. 13 of the 16. He's only died twice. That's my kind of support right there. I said on the draft they were going defensive looking for the ice armor, but this guy's been anything but defensive. Full on assault as LGDC deck, well, they were behind, but now find themselves leading by about 3k gold. And on the XP, wow, about... Potentially 7,000 difference there. Yeah, it's just about that. Uh, if you actually look at the numbers. Oh, the chain frost, the damage. Uh, once again, this Lena is probably like, oh, why? Why am I playing? Zero, six, and five. It's got to be frustrating to have died six times in 20 minutes. Especially to the Lich, right? I mean, dying to Lich, it is not fun. That hero can sometimes feel so underwhelming, but when it gets off to a good start like this, look at his levels. He's like a level, he's level 11 right now, and that really goes to show you on this graph. Like, it's a big lead. 7,000 experience at 20 minutes is a big lead. Lich is up to level 11. Void's 12. Like, look at this big hunk of green. Anti-Mage is out at 14, but everyone else is basically trailing in levels. 
So Anti-Mage is the only one even keeping them remotely close on the experience graph, and even then, it's not very close. A solid Mask of Madness that's out there on 333. He's going for the BKB as well as he picks up the Ogre Club. Could be an Ags, but generally point booster first if you're looking for the Ags. So expect the BKB. Ice Armor going out to the one who needs it most. Garter, very squishy. Still sub 1,000 HP. 7 armor, though. How nice. Speaking of sub 1,000 HP, I was looking for the next squishiest hero. We found it. 7 armor as well. But, uh, yo, yeah, an ogre did go for the urn, so he's listening. He knows what's up. He's, he's around. He's ready to play. Oh, they break the Lincolns. That's just completed and straight into the lasso. Nicely done there. But the morph, it's enough to keep him alive. And LV are actually the one to take the first casualty. Anti-Mage to fall there in the fire. And while well, the Panda should continue chasing along with Void in flames, use the Static Link. Only took 84 damage and is not going to be able to stand up to the Arcane, but will fall. Trying to get the lucky Bash. Won't find it. Won't be able to lock him in place in time. And well, Lena escapes her seventh death, but they give up two. Their two cores fall right now, and LGDC deck really starting to pull ahead. Nine kills, pushing up near 5k and near 10k on gold and experience, respectively, at just 22 minutes. Sorry, I've had the hero level chart up forever. At net worth, it's still our anti-mage, only about a thousand ahead, not even quite that, as Morphling hot on his heels. We saw there with the Lincoln saving his life requiring another spell to be used but hey at least they got the lasso so lv knew that it was there and they responded to it appropriately but they just didn't have enough in the tank to bring him down second of those ancients for the the battle fear and the anti-mage he's had it since in between 13 14 minutes so really good timing had the treads out before 15, and now he's almost got the Manta already as, well, 333 is just going to find another kill. It'll be up in the top lane, and it's the Lich that helped out. Did throw the ultimate, but hey, why not? It's a lot of damage. Six urn charges involved in 17 of the 20 kills. And, well, given his track record, the other three must have happened when he was dead. Yeah, I see the, the chat giving Razor a hard time, and I didn't even realize it myself. 1, 7, and 2, his net worth. It's the lowest of the cores. Look at this. Support Skyrath, support Lich. They're almost above that Razor. They're almost above their own teammate, the Brewmaster, and... Oh, it looks like he'll be going for a BKB. It's an interesting item on Brewmaster, but it's actually pretty sick. Uh, I can get a lot out of it. So you got 18 seconds on your... Uh, oh, actually... I guess I'm late to that change. You got 15, 17, and then 19 seconds on Primal Split. So use a 10 second BKB charge before that. Be really dangerous. Magic immune for 10 seconds. And then throw up your ultimate for another 17 at this point. It's a crazy good item. And honestly, you don't care much about the charge length. You make the most of it when you have it, but you really just want to get out of silences. Be able to blink stomp. And then all in four seconds. Well, five seconds is the new minimum. It's enough for that. And there he goes. He will blink. And doesn't even have to split. But they won't actually find the kill on the anti-mage as a uh, maxed out spell shield. Going to keep him alive through all of that. It's a 10 kill advantage. 2 to 1. The ratio 20 to 10. The actual scoreline at 25 minutes as a Morphling with a little bit more farm will be overtaking that anti-mage. He was forced back to base. So let's get a slowest farm down considerably. They got a smoke. Are they thinking of smoking up? No. Lin picks up a gem, though. Let's see who bought it. It's actually himself, so that's 900 gold from a bat rider. He does have his core items, the blink and the four staff up. In flame drums Aquila. We've already talked about the Manta. It's now finished. The urn on Ogre we wanted to see is there. Blink on a Lich. Whoa, he's ready to get those good chain frosts. If the Chrono can help support them, it'll be even better. He's got uh, Mask of Madness and going for the BKB uh, on the Faceless Void for 333. Four Staff for Garter, two Magic Wands, easy life. Holding one for maybe, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, that was not a good chain for us. But hey! Who cares? You might, you might care. 
Radiant Sorry guys, my right ear is like popping like crazy. You'll probably hear some strange noises in the next couple seconds. Trumpet forward, the primal split doesn't even need to use the BKB that he well doesn't even have yet. Try to get inflamed, will get inflamed. Ogre going really, really trying to defend there, and he will be thrown up in uh, well the cyclone. He can't escape. Well, actually, he does escape. Anti-Mage Brew, Anti-Mage Ogre still alive, oh gosh, the sleepiness, it's setting in, I don't know what's happening. XH though, 4, 2, and 5 involved in Night of the Kings, no one doing it like the Lich. 7, 2, and 13, 20 of the 23, only missing out on 3 of the action, got the Blink Dagger, doesn't even need a good Chain Frost, and Lich gonna buy up his own gem as well, I don't know why, they killed the Batrider, but I guess they must have secured the gem still? Let's actually zoom out, is the gem on the ground? I don't even know if we could see the gem from this distance, but... Well, I guess we gotta check couriers. Yeah, okay, it got, uh... Well, they handed it back already. It got picked up. Gosh, dang it, DDC. What? 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 Dying at your tier 4 towers. I mean, that sucks. <laughs> I heard an adaptive strike. What else could it have been? Lazy caster, yeah. No. I'd love to be the resident sleeper, though. Tell you about that. Regeneration. Oh, Razor, very excited about that regen rune. Working towards his BKB. Yeah, it's a smoke going to be delivered, purchased uh, by DDC here, but given to else, given to someone else. Garter got that four staff completed up. Three, three, three is just finishing his BKB delivered now at a little over 28 minutes. And the Yasha's there for maybe. I thought I heard an F blade, but we're definitely not there yet. Okay, just kidding. We are not far away from that. 4,300 in the bank for maybe. We'll see if he finishes the Manta. He does. So 1,300 left over after that. Manta should be coming out around 29 minutes for the Morphling. He's looking to get very, very strong and. We'll see if he even decides to go shotgun at all. Maybe just opting for the right click, realizing that Anti Mage is, well, going to be fairly resistant to that. 50% to be exact, if not more, if there's a pipe. But based on the supports for LV not doing so hot, yeah, no pipe. Not even a mech right now. Actually, no mech on either team. At least they invested in the urns. As there it is, Manta delivered at just under 29 minutes. Everyone in the bottom lane right now. Replicate on cooldown. Replicate on cooldown. Actually, yeah, I don't know. I would say, like, you replicate, but if I was looking at the illusion, I would call it the replicate. It's so weird, dude. No wonder English is hard. Uh, Morphling, get in the tower last hit there. As we confirm English as hard. But although I, I kind of disagree, English is like the easiest. You can butcher English so hard. Still makes sense. Roche. Three minutes away. That's a short Roche, man. It's going to be about uh, three minutes, 13 seconds. So that'll make for a uh, eight minute, 15 second Roche respawning basically immediately. Well, as immediate as it can be anyways. Anti-Mage still keeping the distance between himself and the Morphling. He's out there in front. He's got his BKB finish and already with the casual Vit Booster is working on his way to the heart. So Anti-Mage, very, very strong. He's looking to be the first to get to the late game. And well, he's probably going to be the first to get to the late game. Maybe he won't be too far behind and the rest of his team is really far ahead of that of LV. The gold, 7,500. It looks like for the last couple minutes, they sort of stopped the bleeding. As it tapers off at about an 8,000 gold lead. <sighs> XP though, 15,000 advantage right now. And just look at the levels on level 10, level 10. You can see there's a level 13 Skyrath, a level 14 Lich. So a difference in seven levels uh, between the two supports of each squad. It's a pretty big deal. It's 
So by uh, farming it up, looks like uh, they're going to play a pretty cautious game. I think we're going to see a smoke momentarily. See a lot of people grouping up behind the tower. Gem up on a Q. Purchased that one a while ago. Ag's finished here on the Brewmaster. Uh, he's using the buddy system. Everyone bought him. Just trailing behind ZYF on the anti-mage. LV's like, eh, well, we might actually need to go maintain that top lane. They could disrupt their rhythm or their game plan a little bit. Could maybe Double run damage. into LGDC deck. It looks like they're the ones moving top right now. Maybe with that replicate. Gonna keep it around the middle lane. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Four, three, and three. The KDA of the Morphling has been pretty involved. Not as involved as the Lich. Oh no, he didn't get that kill. He's actually missed out on four kills right now. Shame on you, Lich. Gonna get that ice armor up on his squad though, and well, based on his levels, yeah, that's maxed out. He's level 15. He's already got a point in stats now. That's how far along this guy is as a support. Meanwhile, Anti Mage, the Rat Dota threat of the Anti Mage is very, very real. LGDC deck, even as ahead as they are right now. Which, you know, it's by a lot on Golden Experience, but Anti Mage is very much a threat, especially to buildings. And look at that. He's getting more pushing done than LGDC deck did, and this is what they gotta watch out for. If they're maybe just a little too scared to break into the high ground, they'll send just the Morphling back. That's the way to do it. He could push out the lane for 40 seconds and then come back top and try to siege while Anti-Mage won't have the opportunity. But in a, in a game with such a disparity in, in gold and experience between the two sides, it's surprising looking at the towers, how even they are. It's only one tower standing and a tier 3 that took a lot of damage. That's the difference. Here's the standing tower. Alright, they're gonna look up to fight. Morphling is back with the crew right now. Lin's gonna try to start things off. Won't be able to find a lasso target. Now he gets silenced. Morphling brings him down with the waveform. Lena falls right before that. A big chrono goes off. It's not quite enough to kill in flame. Anti Mage trying to fight. Getting low on mana. That's gonna bounce. Oh, it actually will do damage as his BKB runs out, but not a whole lot. That's, again, very tanky. And it's a double kill for, what is that, the Morphling? Yes it is. Fight recap me please, they lose three. For the price of a Lich that did get off the chains for us, Void forced to use BKB and Chrono. It's a Kager as uh, that Rider buys back to get uh, invited to that party. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. They find the 2 they need to get these racks, there is no fortify right now, Anti-Mage doing what he can, trying to push out the middle tier 2 and he will find it, but at what cost, they lose the racks up in the top lane, and sure one racks at 34 minutes and it's, well just the melee is maybe not enough to close out the game, but it's a really good start, they will lose the tier 2 in the middle lane, but for the most part LGDC deck, they're looking real good right now. See if it's going to be good enough. The Eye of Scotty coming up. There is what we talked about in a previous game. The Blink, the Ags, and now the Vlads coming out for LGDC decks. Brewmaster played by XH here. Item graph overall. Both teams still holding on to the gem. Demons, the Ogre for LV, is working on an Aghanim Scepter. And looking at his current gold, probably won't ever even find the time to finish it. <sighs> I have not been up all night. I've definitely been up all night. A uh, casual VIP booster does not turn into a heart. Instead, he'll go for a basher, realizing they need a little bit more lockdown for their Morphling. And, uh, well, they could get their comeback potential here at the Roche Pit. And there they go, Lin in. He will grab up 3 3 3. He's got a PKP and a Chrono available, but the Lunica Blade from the high ground will bring him down almost immediately. Uh, Batrider to fall quickly afterwards. Maybe is going to bring him down. That's the Scotty going to work. Anti Mage looks to chase. Mana is gone. Maybe needs to hightail it out of here, but might not be able to. There's a four staff. Anti Mage blinks forward. Inflames BKB up to chase, and well, this probably will be a dead Anti Mage. Or sorry, a dead maybe. Is he going to do around still? He's trying to run back to his team, but the mana break goes out, and now they're going to throw the chain frost. It does almost nothing. ZYF is going to BKB up to ensure the kill. Now he looks for the panda, trying to get that mana. There's no primal split anyways. 
XH in some trouble. ZYF shows up to a proper team fight and he gets a lot for it. It's a triple kill for ZYF on the anti mage here at 36 minutes. Near rune report. Bounty rune top. He's bottom, but the real bounty is down here. The team that's behind just got a triple kill on their core hero and. Two buybacks might actually have to force them out Radiant or deal with the fact that you're going to be sitting fallen. on an even rack. So maybe not. AT Mage blinks back a little too hesitant, expecting the buybacks, trying to play it safe, and we'll get some damage into the Raged. Woo! There's the Abyssal Blade. That's what a triple kill gets you when you're behind. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Oh yeah, replicant. Replicant? Replicate. I don't know, man. I see your tweets, but I'm too tired to think clearly about the issue. Smoke up for the brew. They want to get something done with that. We'll keep our eyes peeled for XH here. The Brewmaster. That replicate as well. Also that sailboat just magically floating and it's got a parrot in it, man. That's crazy stuff. Dang, the crystal is coming out after the BKB now as well. Ghost Scepter up on Lich, Blink Dagger's had that for a while. I haven't noticed any sick plays with the Blink Dagger, but I'm sure there have been a couple. Well, maybe not sick plays, but I'm sure there's been at least a couple plays with it. I mean, comparing to the other supports, Lena, oh, she's got her Blink Dagger up now, too. Demons is still working for an Ags. More than halfway there, but a lot of that money's sitting in his inventory and potentially unreliable. The more, the merrier. Not always. But most of the time. <laughs> I like the sleeper spam. If you like the cast, make sure to let me know on Twitter, at Umbrella. If you didn't like the cast, make sure to tweet at Dota and blame him because well he couldn't make it tonight i'm glad he came to me though i've had a lot of fun casting here the break was a bit much and we've come back after that two and a half hours of downtime a bit out of it uh but hopefully we're still having fun here over on beyond the summit if you're just joining us first game transitioning into the true late game right now at about 40 minutes in beyond the summits the summit 2 brought to you by g2a.com 100 tb yeah, it's been exciting. Make sure to get that ticket and compendium. A lot of goodies there. The compendium is pretty sick. There's some funny pictures. I like it. Uh, also, there's like a full like portrait mode on, on some of the pages, or, which is pretty cool. Pin up brackets, if you will. Also, I think K-pop has uh, promised us things. I don't know. You'll have to buy it and find out for yourself. More stats, I guess. As uh, it's laid back casting over here. Just waiting for someone to bust a move. We saw smoke gank potential didn't result in too much. Can almost finish the data list on 333. But probably gonna save for my back. <laughs> Instead, Anti-Mage actually has increased the distance between him and the Morph. He's very strong after that triple kill. 27,000 at worth. Look at the Morph laying at 22 and a half. Manta, BKB, Scott, Lincoln, what is that? Manta, Abyssal Blade, Battle Fury, BKB, Trent, and an Aegis. And that's where we stand on the two carries for the teams. They're looking to get another 2 3 tower down. Remember, we did lose that melee racks up there on the side of LV. Uh, but they're on their way to the comeback. Checking out the graphs. Whoop! It's a little bit of slide there. Back down to equilibrium. And uh, that'd be a fun ride to go on right now.
if it were a slide. I think that's what we were going for. As well, it's turned into a farm fest. Battle of the Farm continues. LGDC deck a little scared to fight after that last team fight. The anti mage is very strong. Checking out any items they're building towards, how they're gonna try to deal with that. Well, the supports are going defensive. They got their ghost scepters to try to survive up here. I hear BKB forced out. Uh, it was actually on LGD's side. That's a morphling. That was the uh, that was the 10 second charge. She panics a little bit. Maybe it's good that he used it. There was a, a bit of traffic there of LV. Three heroes in the vicinity. See what Bat wants to go for. Maybe a Shiva's Guard coming up next. Nope, just kidding. Shiva's Guard already there on the Razor. Bat maybe for something else, like an AC. Maybe a Lincoln's as well, just to help further support the Razor. Uh, Razor going Ags, I guess, next for maybe a little more push. Could also go for the AC for the extraordinary amount of armor. And, uh, well, going to help with the push in the team fight as well. Anti-Mage will just rip people apart if they get that aura up. Demons. This is going to be a pretty big pickup, I honestly think. Uh, if Demons on the Ogre can finish that Ags, he's a little under a thousand gold away from it. Oh yeah, I was supposed to give you guys Cyclops. I know he's casting up. Uh, the Synergy League right now. So why not tune into both is what I would say. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't, my ears just keep popping. It's so aggravating. All right, hopefully that'll subside here. 43 minutes, 29.15. The graph's actually turning in LV's favor. XP, 43 minutes, that amount of XP doesn't matter. Game is back on an even footing. The heart comes out for the anti-mage right now. And well, honestly, I'm favoring, favoring LV. They're looking really strong. This anti-mage doing fantastic work. Maybe you can blow up the supports, but it's getting harder and harder as they are getting a little bit stronger there. Problem is you can't really go Ghost Scepter against uh, against a Morphling because even the Adaptive Strike you're basically buying an F Blade for him. No As they will find the pickoff. There's buyback available, but already he's level 24, so near 100 second on the respawn will definitely be enough to um, force the buyback on the Anti Mage. And well, that's a good way to reassert the dominance you once had. The pickoff, forcing the buyback, gonna definitely affect his net worth. Morphling might be able to overtake him, and well, Chrono was used, so they might not want to fight. Other than that, well, Mystic Flare is back up in about 10 seconds. Not too much used. As uh, Sun is out here, it is getting freaking warm in this room. Hopefully, there's not too much noise, but we're, th we're throwing on the fan, guys. Just let me know if it bothers you. Uh, I might notice in chat, but Twitter is the place to go. Here we go, pushing the high ground. XH in trouble, last load up. Lin's got him, they'll bring him down. No primal split this fight. There's the buyback from ZYF. As he's chasing him down there, but he's not gonna find anyone. 3 3 3 is already TP'd out, and that's your trying to break the high ground right there. And LGDC deck, it's the late game position advantage that Batrider can give you really strong right now. And LGCDEC, oh, there we go, we're spelling it out now. Uh, well, they just can't break the pace. It's too much. Trying to go for the butterfly is Morphling. That'll help in the one-on-one -on -one battle against the Antimage, but Antimage might just be able to kill everyone else. They've already shown that if he's in the Chrono, they can still kill him. So they do got to watch out for that. third Roche. Is it sad that I don't even remember Roche happening? <laughs> no, yeah, I do. I remember looking at the clock, talking about it. Uh, well, two have happened here. We're looking at the cheese and the ages up for grabs. I would expect LV to get it. I mean, they've got the Batrider, who I think gives you a big advantage over the new terrain in this area. 
Uh, he can just like wrap around and attack from any angle very quickly. Uh, or even this one as well. Can't draw on this new terrain, but yeah, they're thinking about it. Radiant not in there. I'm looking at actually Radiant Vision, they've gotten quite defensive. High ground ward right there. And right there as well. The, the Dire, they're going to use the new Gateway Ward, that's what I like to call it, because this thing it's on looks like a gateway from StarCraft. There you go. Always got to keep the StarCraft references alive. And, uh, yeah, the Dire Vision, one there as well. That's, like, ultra-defensive. Honestly, not sure why that one's there. I mean, actually, how long has it been there? They might have dropped it there just when that push was coming up so they would know what they were going to want to do. Or if someone went there, Batrider could lasso and then pull them back into the base, perhaps? Maybe they meant to drop a sentry and drop the ward. I don't know, a couple uh, competing theories for that one. Already another 1,200 gold on Anti-Mage. He's basically six-slotted right now. He could use Boots of Travel as he doesn't have room for a TP, so he doesn't want to venture too far off from the pack, but... Boots of Travel will change that. Doesn't need much more. He can sell his own boots. Doesn't have buyback anyways. It was forced, so he'd have still three minutes to farm it and probably could farm the buyback in that time. But if he goes down now, that'll be a big pickoff for LGD. Might allow them to end the game. I mean, let's not forget, they were really far ahead. They got that Rax. They have like 8k gold, 15, 16,000 experience ahead. And... Well, really having trouble putting an end to this game, and as it stands, they might not be able to. Anti-Mage has never wavered in his carrying ability this game. Still out front, but the gap has actually closed a bit. Anti-Mage is uh, losing ground, is maybe is gaining ground on the Morphling. 27.3k, 28.8 out there on the Anti-Mage. What is that, a haste rune up there? Nice. <laughs> glad glad people enjoyed the yawns um, maybe moving forward right this way. oh that Lincoln Sphere doesn't think about it that was actually the lasso he used on it he knows that it's there we've seen him using the force staff uh, into the lasso as now he'll quickly just disappear as maybe he's going to turn around and focus him gets the kill on lane that's going to force out the buyback of the bat rider in flame running away in fear as anti-mage put up into that uh, however he will just be able to blink out boulder smash will be disjointed by that blink dagger lin will live to fight another day not going to suffer the dieback chronosphere available Ooh, looking for a big one if you can find it in enemy territory if they win the team fight they can easily get another lane of racks and two might Much be enough to seal the deal but so far looks like we're going gonna go well past the 50 minute mark even as we're approaching it now Go Scepter Four Staff up in the skies. Had that basically forever. Uh, Anti Mage. We talked about Boots of Travel. Morphling will finally finish that butterfly. Going to make him much more threatening to the Anti Mage one versus one. But yeah, he still will be killable. Oh, Radiant's Courier is going to go down. 500 cargo worth on it. That's not Radiant. That's Radiant. Yeah, it's just a magic wand and a uh, town portal scroll. Where is it? Oh, it's ice here. Why the hell is it here? BKB's up. They're trying to chase flame. They will get some time locks. They don't want to have the chrono, and they won't. Only 56 damage stolen, so even if Void Chronos still got a decent amount of damage up. A little under 200, but they will fall off after that pickoff. Razor has buyback. They're going to catch their creep wave and maybe turn that around to pushing the middle lane. Try to force that out, and that'll be a buyback on Razor and... Anti-Mage Force out here, but they'll grab the Panda. Primal Split in one second, and he'll get it off. And it just, you know, keeps him alive. I don't think he's going to be able to do much with it. There is the Storm Panda chasing. He can throw somebody up in the air, but the Bat will blink away, making that an impossibility. And that third Roche we talked about, no one has gone in for it yet, but the strong right clicks now that here uh, exist in the late game. No problem, Roche, without really a Roche doing a lineup. They take it basically immediately. Aegis over to the Void. Uh, they'll throw the cheese. It looks like where's that list on a support for now. They'll give it to Garter the the Skyrath oh. <laughs> What? 
Alright, Morph didn't go for an F Blade, but Skyrath is like, I'll do it. He's got one. That's really, really scary, actually. F Blade on top of a Concussive Shot and a Mystic Flare. That's pretty much going to kill anybody. Antimage has a BKB with 8 seconds left on it. Uh, Razor with one with 5. Very low. No pullback in the Skyrath. He's pretty out of mana right now to do anything. But the Chronosphere, it's a big one for 3v3. Land on the Bat Raider has already fallen. He tries to switch over to Inflame, but they don't have the damage. Goes actually back to ZYF, but they can't kill him either. Laguna Blade goes out, kills the Void. He's going to respawn. Panda to drop has buyback. They will kill the Anti Mage. And well, he's got buyback available. He's got to do it right now, and they'll call the GG though. Anti Mage alone, he's very strong, and he still remains. Oh, not actually the highest net worth. Second, it's LGDC deck, a back and forth game for the first 15 minutes. Very, very much LGDC deck in favor. Then we went on a little bit of a ride. Uh, on that slide, and then back to the top again. As uh, LGDC deck regain their advantage and will take the victory here in this first game in the grand finals.